Where are these people? What are you blind? Why you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. Who the hell are you? you? Just walk in. Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work here. And what great work you do, sheriff. Hmm. That didn't feel very genuine. Ass. Fucker. Dickhead. Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. Who else is to blame if not you? If anyone's to blame, it's me. You don't need to be yelling at her. Oh, your role in this is duly noted. Yes, let's talk about that. Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Yeah. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. The woodsman is a person of interest. From what we've been able to gather, he was last seen with the victim. The woodsman? That drunk wretch was the cause of this? It's a lead. Nothing certain yet. I'll find him. Get him in here if that's all you have to go on. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. What? You're lying, fuck. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. What an asshole. Do your job, Sheriff. Go fuck yourself. We'll find someone ooh, who can. Ooh. 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 No, I won't. I won't. Because that'll get me in trouble. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. See? Well, that could have gone better. Well, maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking. And I don't care, he's an asshole. Never mind. Smoke away. That's what I said. What an asshole. Yep. That was about an eight on the asshole scale. Asshole scale? <laughs> that doesn't sound right. Huh? Is... is he gone? Are yes, you from the witch wizard in wardrobe? You took the wine? Oh my god. <laughs> Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it... Probably belongs to him. Maybe. You're a monkey. How are you today, Mr. This Baby? is getting stranger and stranger. It hasn't been a great morning, Buffkin. Sorry. Eh, not your fault. Thanks for asking, though. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. Maybe. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. Mirror? I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Wait, the magic mirror from, uh... Hello. <gasps> Hi. Aladdin Lamp! Oh, does he do you Is it... Worth a try. Oh, no! Oh... No, we got your invoice. Can I poke around to the stuff? No. Yes. Okay, I'll just go over here. Speak to them. Hey, Magic Mirror, I got a question. You know 
the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history and rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. If you're able, tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? The fable I want to know is the one called Snow. Show me Snow White. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. If you keep talking to me, I'll put you in your tomb. Who's Buffkin? Who's Buffkin? Yeah. Show me Buffkin. Hey, <laughs> put down the bottle and get to work. <laughs> Still looking. Fucker. Woodsman. Show me the woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. I give you a very big thank you. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. symbols. This will be for a ring. Um what's this? Oh, great. What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. Yeah, thanks. We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. <laughs> Buffkin, translate. Hmm. An exquisite design from the good China of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad. He probably wrote this in himself. Chase this way. It's a horse. This looks familiar. Yes, from the Acts of the Woodsman, a druid blessing, actually. Oh. Someone blessed okay. that thing. I only translate. Ring. This isn't it, though. Can't be. What's that? It reads. Mark of the house of the Frog Prince. For God's sake, Frog. Not quite who I'm looking for. That. This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alerlairo? I'll go look it up. Alerlairo? Alerlairo. That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin, also known as <laughs> ass skin, <laughs> <laughs> uh, prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic. Oh. Bufkin, we don't need the commentary. The story of donkey skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Uh, his daughter, Faith. He she had a magic daughter? cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. That's sweet, at least. It's kind of sweet. I don't know. Should I 
mark it, Miss Snow? Yes, please. Yes. That's what please. I said. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more so than that was, was her name. Yeah. We should talk to the husband. You think he did it? Can't rule him out. Nothing would surprise me at this point. We can't rule him out. Please don't be dead, really. Can you just be pretending and be a floaty head? What's this one? Picture book. Yay. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. We already know her name, but feel free to have a look if you like. Red Running Hood. <gasps> hmm. Me. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be me. Yeah, dwarves. What I said about that, the better. Look evil. Hmm. I think her name was Red. She didn't make it out. Oh, she died. Who are you? Yeah, that's her, all right. Long time ago. Mr. Frog. Nice hat. Who's that? Ichabod Crane. Scared shitless. What's that? Your boss. His finest moment. Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. Maybe it was him. Maybe it's time that changed. Pigs in the background? Yeah, let's go. Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, able, blah, 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 about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? Prince Lawrence. He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. What's he been doing? No way. Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. You better not have red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Okay. Show me Faith's father, the old king. Guess that crosses him off the suspect list. He had the ring on, though. Show me. Show me Faith. Through powerful magic, her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. What? These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, really. It's simply the way this has to be. She said that too. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. Sorry, I have to get that. Hello, Woodland's business office. Uh, yes, I... He is. Hold on. Bigby, it's for you. Bigby, it's me, Toad. You there? What do you want? Bigby, shit. Listen, right, there's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Bigby, before he... Oh, wait, hang on. Boy, shit. Hey! What was uh -oh. that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Uh, don't make Whenever me choose. You're ready. Let's go.
Did Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? <laughs> Big B. Shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Uh, we gotta go help him, but he might run away. Let's go. Toad sounds like he needs help right now. We can check in on Prince Lawrence after. Okay, I'm not looking forward to breaking the news to him anyway. Oh no. And we ended up going out the window, and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. Looks worse in the day. Is somebody up there? Wait here. It's best not to say anything so we can sneak up on him. Fuck. Shit. I'm sorry. That's enough, all right? Just shut it. What kind of asshole swings a lamp at a guy? The little girl's crying. Son? Son? I think. I thought it was a girl! Be nice in there, okay? Mm. Hey, Toad. You in there? <laughs> Big B! And Miss White! Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Sorry, Big V. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought it was someone else in Woody's place. It wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. <laughs> Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. You're a fucker. So, you know, false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this. There was someone, but they took off when we got here. Is that right? I guess your dad's ears have a year or two left. Haven't gone totally to the dogs, eh? Are you all right? Oh, he's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna? So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. But it was nothing, really. Someone was here, and something's going on. Just so this trip wasn't a complete waste of time, I'm gonna look around a bit before we leave. Okay. The longer you talk, the longer this takes. So just stand over there and shut up. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. I have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. Whew. Grown-ups. Am I right? Uh... Hey, you know what? Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? It has a weevil. Cool. No.
Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. His door's being kicked in. Look, you can see it. <gasps> Your lock's busted. Eh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. Oh, for Christ's sake, the fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Hmm. And the lamps broke too. Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Okay, huh. seriously a bad liar. Fell off the table. You know, with this place it's like living on a foundation of termites, it is. All so cheap it's a wonder it stays standing as long as it does. It wasn't even plugged in. You move, you die. You bleeding? Why? You say it's blood. Still fresh. Oh, well, I cut me end. <laughs> Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on the furnishments. Lamp in pieces, blood on the wall. It's awful, I know. Sounds painful. Oi, don't you go mother-ending now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks of being a babel, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. more blood over here on the poker yeah what happened oh well that's that's how it happened didn't it oh, I was I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit sliced up in my foot like a seashell but like a shit ugly thing if you're gonna say something out with it wait you dropped it on your foot you told me before that you cut your hand yeah no I, I did cut my hand I cut my hand first, and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> uh, ruinous flip of events, really. Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things happen, you know. No crime in a little accident. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. That more blood? No. Just a clean space in the dust. Did you move something? Ah, oh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something? I mean, who knows? Bloody hell, Bigby. What sinister bit have you uncovered this time? I left the tap water running? Didn't stop the recycling? What's the point of all this, mate? Really? That broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there? Of all the blooming pointless inquiries. It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Because the lamp was always over here, Toad. It was over here. Now it's there. The space in the dust is from where you well, moved I it. I did some refiguring. Who fucking cares? Bloody hell, mate. Come on. Get off with this. Little lag there. Some marks here on the windowsill. But like I said, Junior leaves his toys around all the time. These don't look like they're from a toy. Oh, well, just last night when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. 
And I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? I scared Junior off to death. Hmm. I can believe that. You heard uh, the new uh, Shaking Stevens album yet? You wouldn't need keys, since the lock's broken, so why'd you climb in through the window? Huh? Why'd you climb in through the window? You said it yourself. The lock's been rotten for weeks. You wouldn't have needed a key to get in. Fucking hell. Just what are you on about, mate? After the state I was in, I didn't have me head, that's all it was. I forgot a fucking handle was fucking busted. And I'll tell you what else. It's embarrassing, you bringing all this shit up, all right? So quit it with a third degree and all that. Bigby, come on, I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon, just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this, this sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called, really I am, but will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet? You stay here to accuse me of heaven knows, and for what, Bigby? You've seen the whole room. Nothing's happened. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody home. It's not seemly. When? When I figure out what's going on here, Toad. You can help the process along, you know. How? How am I gonna help the process along? Toad, these stories have made no sense. You didn't cut yourself on the poker. You didn't forget your keys. You didn't bump the lamp off the table. You want to tell me what's going on? She doesn't think much of me, I don't think. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? Mr. Toad, you're bleeding. Take off the hat. It was that butcher, a, a Tweedle, Thumb or D. You gotta strip them down to their Johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something a woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window, but he pulled me back in. What was he looking for? I have no idea. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give the bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes? Borrows? I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. We'll merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. Now I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. An envelope. Ooh. Fucking hell, of course there is. If for my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. Do you want to try and give it to him, or...? I'm sorry, Faith. What could she have been sorry for? I don't know. But maybe Lawrence does. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. Bye, TJ. Bye-bye. Take care.
Does it always go that smoothly? Not often. So, the Prince's now? Lawrence's, yeah. It's our best lead. Our only lead, really. When you put it that way. To stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Just humor me. When the magic mirror showed me this apartment, I think I saw a knife inside, covered in what looked like blood. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. Well, was I? Like I said, let's not overcomplicate things. You can question him while I look around for it. And if he objects? We're here on official Fable Town business. And we can be persuasive if necessary. Or you can. You want me to be mean. But I get told off for being mean. That's a mailbox. I doubt he's in there. Is a kitten in there? No. Damn it! He's dead, isn't he? Oh dear. Damn. Oh my god. Hey, hey, stay with me, Lord. No. Be all right. no, let me go. Uh, so. oh. What is it that you're telling us? Oh. What? Bigby, water, kitchen. This way? No. This way? Where do I go? He's gonna die! This way, baby! Oh, oh, okay. No, this way. Did you find it yet? Yeah, I'm coming, coming, sorry. You said to pay the rent. If you have something to ask him, you should do it now. Who did this to you? <coughs> Say. He's delusional. He's died. I can't believe that. Do you still have that letter? Yes. It's only two words, but he died without seeing them. I'm sorry. But then why would she have it? We need to figure out what happened here and find whoever did this. Okay. Same knife you saw in the mirror? Yeah. 
I don't know why it's over here. I just don't understand. Why would someone want to kill him? Gotta be the father. No, he's dead. No, wait, but... He had the ring, right? Touch the blood. Touch everything. Still a little sticky. It's been moved? That looks like it's been pulled down. Bullet hole? Touch it. Touch everything! Touch it! Put it in my pocket. Oh, I don't want to look at that. Fingerprints? They'll be on the grip and the trigger. He was trying to kill himself. is the caliber of the gun on the floor. It'll be his. What are they? Prescription sleeping pills. Can you overdose on them? Fan? Don't waste electricity. There we go. That doesn't really help. That's it. Nice shoes, dude. I turn the TV off? No. He tried to shoot himself, right? But he missed, but then someone came in to kill him. When do you think that was taken? Before all this. Son of a... Touch it. Dearest Faith, I never meant to hurt you, and I cannot endure knowing that I have. This was for the best. I'll see you again. Love, your devoted Lawrence. Hopefully they're together now. Mm. Not all we can hope for at this point. Closet. Oh fuck me! That scared the shit out of me. Stay here. Ugh. Uh oh. Laggy. Leave me alone. Not get away from me. Fucker. Nope. Yes. Get in here, fucker. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> That's gotta hurt. Gotcha. Hey. Yeah. Ease up, Bigby. We're on the same side here. You son of a bitch. Make me run after you. 
Why <coughs> did you run? <coughs> what? Why did you run? Fuck, man. Because you chased after me. The fuck was I supposed to do? A man's dead. I know how it looks, but I had nothing to do with that. Bullshit. You're covered in blood. Look, I was just asking him about the girl. That's all. When I mentioned her being dead, he freaked out. I figured someone had told him. How was I supposed to know? Shit. Fucker shot himself right in front of me. Told you. I couldn't stop him, man. You're looking for the woodsman, right? I know where he is. My guy says he's holed up at the trip trap. We can go over there right now, the both of us. My employer's looking to ask him a few questions, too. Who's your employer? I can't tell you that. It's confidential. Sorry. Sure you understand. Nope. Can't say that I do. Come on. You're coming with me. This could have been easy. Huh. Don't worry. It still is. Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Well, it oh, can be much no. easier for you. No. To... I'm D. He's dumb. <sighs> he almost looked peaceful. Yep. Except you're lying in a dirty owl. Yep. With an open wound on the back of your head. Yep. Where'd they go? Well, after the one guy hit you, and the other one finished kicking you... That explains the ribs. <laughs> then they jumped into a car and drove off. Come on, get up. I fucking hate the and dumb. Guess we're out of options. He mentioned the trip trap. Then that's where we'll go. I'll call a cab. Every time I think I'm getting a handle on what's going on, things just get more complicated. It feels like we're always a step behind. The woodsman is the only lead we've got, and he was one of the last people to see Faith alive. Getting some answers out of him will start to clear things up. I hope you're right. Bigby, be honest with me. Who do you think did this? I know it's still early, but I just feel a step behind. It's an uncomfortable feeling. Faith was in trouble, afraid of someone. I need to find out who might be whoever she was working for. There's still a lot of questions. We find the woodsman, figure out what he knows, and go from there. Makes sense. That's probably the best approach. Thanks I for wish you. there was... Oh no! <laughs> Cute. Sorry. Go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it's... It's nothing. I just... Seeing all this today, there are fables that are struggling worse than I'd imagined. We pay so much attention to the residents of the Woodlands. You forget there's a whole community out there to serve. To have to turn to... Prostitution. I... I wish there was more we could do. This isn't how I thought it would be. But Crane runs things his own way. You're doing your best. It's all anyone can do. Obviously, you don't know what I do all day. Right now, I'm the gatekeeper. Making sure none of these disenfranchised folks are, as he puts it, wasting his time. 
You'll fix it. Oh. I don't know. It's just a broken system. The fables who walk in through the back door like Bluebeard, we have all the time in the world for them. You try and come in through the front door, through the proper channels, asking for anything, needing help. Well, I turn you away. It isn't your Nothing's fault. Things are worse off than they've ever been. You're okay, hon. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. I feel so bad. Maybe this isn't for me. I thought public service was pure. You should stick it out. There are fables that would give up a lot to be in the position you're in, and I think it's easier to change something from the inside. You're telling me change comes from within? Yeah. Uh, sure. Not the advice I imagined hearing from you. Because I'm a wolf. I'm full of surprises. Oh! Yeah, maybe you should handle this one. I'll try. Yeah, maybe I should. Big B. I um, just be careful. Please. So cute. Same goes for you. I will. <laughs> 